We are talking about the worst brands of 2013. The names include BlackBerry, Sears, United, JCPenney, and AT&T. Chris Malone joins me and he tells me what makes for a worse brand. Actually, the research that we did for our book, The Human Brand, actually suggests that those companies that are systematically doing things that fail to build a lasting relationship with customers causes them to be much more dependent on price in order to get transactions. And all of the brands in our list this year are great examples of that. Okay, so let's dive right into it. First, BlackBerry. Blackberry, also known as Shrinkberry or Red Inkberry, four and a half billion dollar loss this last quarter. You know, it's a great example of a company that invented a category and then got run out of it by Apple and Google by really failing to take uh, attention to what customers wanted. We're very resistant to change, and their last product introduction was dead on arrival. It was a really great example of a lost loyalty um, for a, a groundbreaking product. Okay. Moving on to Sears, headed by hedge fund manager Eddie Lampert. Yeah, I think Sears is a case of death by a thousand cost cuts. You know, a financial manager like Eddie Lampert has come in and over the last decade has continually cut and cut and cut to where there's really very little m meat left on the bone. And so they've struggled. Their stock is down 44% over the last 12 months. And it's another example of a brand that was very strong at one point, but really is very dependent on price now to get anybody in the door. Okay, United moving to the skies. Yeah, this is kind of torture of customers through merger integration. Their integration with Continental from that acquisition has been very painful. Reservation systems have gone down. And they used to have a very loyal following, but the merger and the urgency that they had to kind of push those systems together really put customers through a lot. And now they're ranked dead last in satisfaction among flyers. Okay, two last ones, JCPenney and AT&T. Yeah, JCPenney, another example of a brand that really their customers went right away as soon as the discounts that Ron Johnson took away were no longer available. Now the old CEO has come back in and they're getting a little bit of traction, but it's a great example of a brand that is really heavily dependent on price and without that price there's really no loyalty. And AT&T? AT&T, this is a case of the great customer escape. You know, customers at AT&T are starting to look a lot more like they were hostages. AT-Mobile came to their rescue offering plans that had much more flexibility and you didn't have to overpay for that new device and scooped up 750,000 new subscribers, mostly at AT&T's expense. And so AT&T has had to kind of drop to their knees with a similar plan, begging customers to stay with them. All right, Chris Malone, thanks so much. Those are the worst brands of 2013.